So we talk about a tabouille now being adapted to the French farmhouse. So what essentially happens is that you can come in and find a seat somewhere. Sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So um, we actually have written records of some of the early French people, uh, um, free people of color, uh, free Africans, coming across from Martinique, particularly, and from Guadeloupe in the north, and, and establishing, first of all, we have um, Gérard Rome, who writes this amazing account of his settlement in the Grand Bay area, and his friendship with the chief, and uh, the permission that is granted, and he gets the Kalinago people to build for his family as a first base for what is later going to become a small estate house, a grand cabbie. He says he, he wants them to build a grand cabbie, and which they do. And it, as in the north of Martinique, the grand cabbie then uh, is adopted by the French and becomes a French farmhouse in a way because many of the elements of the uh, Grand Cabe, or the big Cabe's of the Kalinago, are adopted because, one, of the hurricane, if the inner core, you'll see a lot of these houses like Bocotlet is here in black and white, and I pulled in um, Pecoul, which is a very old plantation house in the north of Martinique, and both of them have this central strong core, and then the rooms are around it, um, so the rooms outside, whether they're uh, pantries or bedrooms or whatever, then protect the, the inner room. You have uh, one of the frames of the Grand Cabe, and the circular one over here is a fa fascinating um, archaeological study that was done at a Golden Rock in St. Eustatius, where they actually uh, excavated this uh, uh, Molokka, they call it, because they use the term from the Guyanas. And uh, they have the central core. You have your outer sections where the hammocks and all that are. Because, so the central core becomes a gathering place. And then um, it actually should be twisted this way, so the east. They put these barriers there for the rain that is driven by the east winds. Um, because the sheds would go down very, very low um, and to prevent the rain from coming in. And this, uh, this was excavated. It's on the edge of the airport in St. Eustatius. So what they had to do to maintain it in grass is they put white cast concrete pillars just about three feet of a meter high. So you can actually walk through it. It's all mowed grass and you can still see the pattern central core and then your rooms around it, which is the pattern that you'll find here. You'll find it at, um, at uh, Borgoglet in the wooden framing and also in, uh, it's been adapted, it's been changed, but the house at Point Malat, the old plantation house at Point Malat, uh, belonging to Singala Bromquist, um, that has been kind of adapted. So it doesn't, you can see the traces of that central core but it has changed somewhat. And then we turn to Agostino Brunias for this uh, painting, which I am um, more or less certain is the origin of the central part of the Springfield uh, plantation house with the mountains of Chaparral and the Cochrane behind. And this became a typically Dominica house where you had, once again, your very sea-sloping roof, your attic for things like coffee and cocoa and stuff, these were the small, uh, what they would call a small plantation people. They're not more than maybe 20 acres, 25 acres, and they would be uh, operating at that level with outside kitchen, see the outside kitchen there, the main house, and the houses for the enslaved over at the back there. So this is one of these smaller plantation houses um, that were used, adapting once again moving from the tabouille, from the cabbie, into the dwelling house. 